Hello everyone and welcome to very first Q&A on Monkeyfish channel. So about two weeks ago I asked you for a question, so now it's time to give you an answers. So let's get started. So the first question is from Zendragon. What were the first martial arts channels you remember watching before becoming one yourself? So yeah, this question is quite complicated because before I make my own channel I was never subscribing to anyone I was, you know, if I need something I was searching, I was finding what I need and this was it and you know, I was preferring to learn stuff from people than from you know, people from internet but right now it's different because now I'm having my channel so I watch other guys to get some inspirations for training or just to make my videos or stuff like this but if I have to give you a list of the guys what I was watching before I make my own channel then probably it would be a GNT because I liked uh, you know tricking and stuff like this then I think was a corn kicker when I get more interest in kickboxing then I think it was a master Wong but it was the time when he was more normal <laughs> I don't know how to say now he created this character was so energetic and it's more funny to watch it's cooler to watch and probably this is why here are so many people who like him because it's, it's just interesting to watch what he's doing now but back then I liked him with, yeah old version of him because I was interested to learn Wing Chun and in my hometown we didn't have a Wing Chun and he, in this time he had a uh, series, he just started on YouTube and he had a series uh, Wing Chun for Beginners and I was following this all uh, episodes what he was uh, uploading so yeah right now I do not <laughs> watch him so often just something for fun but uh, normally I don't I, I do not uh, watch his videos anymore uh, who next? I think it was a uh, Ninja Nate. He's a Jeet Kune Do, Wing Chun, uh, tricking guy. Probably you know him, or maybe not. I think this is pretty much it. And of course, Enter the Dojo, <laughs> Master Ken. So yeah, so this was it. I think this is the least what I did, what I was watching before I make my own martial art channel. And yeah. Right now, I do not watch all of those guys from before. Now I have a completely different list. And yeah, but the question was about what I was watching before I made my channel, so this was the answer. Next question is from Simon the Likebull. If you could only train with one weapon, what would it be? I always was saying that I am a simple guy. I like heavy weapons, so axes or warhammers. But now when I start playing with weapons, then yeah, my point of view changed a little bit. And, and I'm not a big fan of two-handed weapons. And if I have to use two-handed weapons, it would be a spear or axe. But if I can choose only one weapon, then I think I would take a saber. I really like this weapon, it's interesting and it's elegant and it's uh, fast and practical and because I am Polish so Polish sabers are famous and I think I should stick to the roots. <laughs> no, I actually I think I, I really like uh, yeah, sabers because it's an interesting weapon, it's fast. So the answer is a uh, saber. So next question is from Weapon Man, <laughs> I really like this guy, and yeah, he always gives me a positive energy when I, when he comments my videos. So yes, his question is favorite moves and weapons for zombies. I am Polish, and in our culture, zombies is not really a thing. For us, it's more like a ghosts, spirits, and demons or something like this. But I understand the question. So zombies. I think the best for zombies is uh, you know something what can cut, yeah, as far as some sword or against saber. But 
I like to smash stuff, so I think I would go with the flail because I have a reach and this can do a lot of damage. So I would go for flail or some, you know, fireman axe or something like this. Something that is heavy and can hit hard. About the moves, then, you know, with these weapons, then I would just <laughs> smash, you know, just smash. I don't know what, you can, what I can say more because, you know, I am also not a big fan of zombie things. Yeah, this would be something like this, I think. Next question is from Pondood. If you were to open a dojo, what style would you teach there? And bonus question, do you have a pets? If yes, what kind? If not, would you like one? What kind of pet? So my answer for the first part of this question is um, I don't think I would uh, stick to the one style. I would call my club or dojo, uh, you know, self-defense club or fighting club, something like this. Then we could do whatever we want. And if I have to create my own style to teach, then I think I would do some mix with uh, boxing and judo, because I believe that this thing is a good combination for self-defense. If I go to self-defense topic, then I would think that this is the thing. So when you fight you can box, but when you are close to the clinch or something, then you can grab somebody's jacket and do some takedown, sweep or throw, something like this. I think this is the best combination. Of course, I would add some kicking because you need to know all. And if we go with the topic like a fighting topic, so fight club, then, then I would uh, do almost the same. Boxing, kickboxing and grappling. You have to be Something like this. I would not call this MMA, but basically it would be MMA because we have a striking and grappling together. But yeah, I would go, I would be more focused about the striking part than grappling part on the ground. I would be focused on stand, stand up game, so striking, kicking, grappling, like a takedowns and throw. So the second part of the question is, I have to check it, um, what's about the pets? Yeah, it is. Do you have a pet? I don't have a pet because I rent in this apartment, I live here for six years and I could not have any pets here. But in two months I'm going to move out and our first uh, plan when we move out is to get a dog. So in two months I'm going to have a dog. And our plan is to get a... I say our because I'm talking about me and my wife. Yeah, we wanted to have a bull terrier. So, this is the plan. So in two months, you're going to have a dog. I am a dog person. I think dogs are, you know, the best human's friends and you need to give, you, give them attention. You have to take a walk with them. You have to play with them. So this can keep you move. So you will not get too lazy when you get older. So I think dog is a good thing. Okay, so next question is from Shinobi Hiryu Original Ninja. You should go and subscribe this guy because you can you're watching him all the time in my videos. So go and help him get um, you know subscribers. But his question is if you could time travel back in time and be a warrior or explorer, which age would you go back and why? Uh, Probably everyone going to think that I would like to be some kind of ninja or samurai or viking or some epic Chinese warrior. But to be honest, uh, I would not go that far. I would like to be a Polish hussar. Again, come back to the roots. I am Polish, so Polish hussars. And why? Because I think it was one of the greatest cavalries. And they were basically, they were like a first tanks because they were riding horses. They have a long bikes. They have uh, guns and they have uh, sabers. I think this was uh, the first tank. I know that not so many people know that uh, we have a similar story like uh, 300 Spartans. In, uh, I think it was uh, 1694, I think, or 1690 something. I think 1694. We have a, a big uh, battle and uh, it was 400 Hussars against 40,000 of Tatars and we beat them up. So I think if I have to be somebody, 
some warrior or some fighter, then I would like to be a Polish Hussar because they were epic. I think the last question is from Liquid Katmus. What are your favorite martial art films? So, this is a difficult question because I am not so good with remember the names of the movies or names of the actors or stuff like this. But I think I, I, I could put almost all uh, Jackie Chan movies. I will like Jackie Chan and what he's doing. I like his comedy action movies. Then I really liked when I was younger, and I, st I still like it, but now when I watch this movie it's more a little bit cheesy and a little bit goofy sometimes, but I really liked it, I have good memories with this movie. Only the Strong, this is a movie about capoeira with Marta Cascas, and because of this movie I started training capoeira. And I have really good memories about this, so only the Strong. Then we have a Undisputed with Scott Atkins and uh, when he was a uh, Yuri Boyka but only number two and number three number one and number four I, I'm not really a fan of them but yes these two are really cool and in number three I really like it that uh, my capoeira favorite uh, actor David Clowder is there and he shows some nice capoeira moves over there okay next one would be uh, Ip Man but Ip Man only Number one, number two, the rest could not exist at all for me. These two movies are really nice, I think. And also because of these movies I started to win you. So, yeah. My favorite, favorite martial art movie, but it's not really about martial arts, but yeah, it's a fighting movie, but have a really sad story. And it's, this is the Danny the Dog with Jet Li and, and Morgan Freeman. This is my favorite movie. I really like it. I like the style of the movie and I like uh, Jet, Jet Li's style of fighting over there. It's really crazy, really aggressive and like a, you know, like an animal. I really like this. And it's a really sad movie. It's really emotional and I really like it. It's my really very favorite movie. Then probably it's a lot of movies what I like it, but I don't remember right now. Actually, a lot of old martial art movies was good. They have some message and stuff. Okay, so I answer for all your questions. I didn't have a lot of them, but this is it. If you like this kind of content, let me know. Then maybe in the future I will make another episode of Q&A on Monkey Feast. But this was the really first one. And I hope you liked it. I tried my best to answer your questions. And yes, thank you for watching. See you next time.